Have you ever found that with specific people you always experience the same feelings? For example, with someone in particular you tend to be on the defensive or with someone else you find really difficult to say no and this keeps happening so you don't know how to fix it. Well, if this is the case, please keep watching. Today we're going to talk about the PAC model, parent adult child, obviously after the intro. So the PAC model. The PAC model is a part of a transactional analysis theory and is also used in uh, many techniques of um, neurolinguistic programming, NPL, uh, but it's not something we're going to discuss today. So today we're going to discuss about the parent-adult-child model and how it affects every single interaction we have with other people. So first of all, let's start why it's called PAC. As anticipated, PAC stands for Parent Adult Child, and each one of these uh, is a in, is called ego state. So we have these three ego states, and we shift from one to another constantly during our days. So we play the role of the parent, of the adult, or the child based on the context and the situations we we find ourselves in. Before we start, another important thing to say is that the PAC model is not related to age. Being a child doesn't is not related to your age in particular. For example, I can have my daughter acting as a parent with her little brother or in other situations with her friends. So now let's analyze the ego states one by one and then we're going to see why the PAC model is important in our relationship with others at work, in the family and in, in our everyday life. So let's start, let's start with parent. When you are in the parent ego state, you copy feeling, thoughts and behaviors that you learn by observing your parents. So when you are in this situation, there are two things that can happen. You can play the role of the nurturing parent or you can play the role of the um, judgmental parent. So you can have, you can be supportive or critical and judgmental and controlling. So typical words that you say when you are in this state is you should always never forget or also let me help, don't worry. So these are all the these are all the words that you generally say. So now let's see the child state. In the child state, you go back to when you were a child and you can you, you can find yourself using words like um, I don't know, I want, I wish, I don't want, or something like um, I don't care, um, and many superlatives. So when in this state you can have two types of behavior, you can be curious, playful and creative or you can be difficult, problematic and insecure. So now let's see the last one which is adult. In the adult you are your um, rational and logical self. Behavior, feelings and thoughts are direct consequences of here and now and your behavior is driven by facts and not emotions. So this is very different from the others because as we were able to see before, you can be nurturing or critical or you can be playful or problematic, right? So in the other, the difference is that you have always one behavior which is being uh, reasonable and rational. Now that we know the three ego states, let's see why the PAC model is important and why I'm doing this video. So identifying your ego states and identifying someone else's ego states can give you immediately um, an idea of where the conversation is heading to. So now let's analyze different interaction for the same scenario. So we have the following scenario. You are at work, you deliver something, the quality of what you deliver is not that great. So now let's see the boss being a judgmental parent or a nurturing parent. So you can have this type of situations and then we're gonna see how you can respond to them, right? So your boss says, hey, this is unacceptable. You should pay more attention next time. Well, you, now you have two options. You can say, oh yes, I'm really sorry, this is never gonna happen again. So in this case, you are adopting what is called a complementary interaction or transaction where you are playing the obedient child. And this one is, is defined as stable transaction. But you can also have a different interaction where you can be confronted in the regards of your boss and you can say, hey, Mr. Perfection, you never make mistakes. So in this case, what you are doing is a crossed interaction. So now uh, the crossed interaction means that instead of 
having a communication that goes from parent to child because your your boss was trying to be a judgmental parent and was expecting a response from an obedient child you are operating as a parent and you are judging your uh, your boss before we go ahead let's discuss the the other approach that your boss can have with you let's see the same scenario but in this case we have um, the behavior from the boss is not judgmental but is from a nurturing parent so the conversation can go in this way. Hey, I noticed few issues with your recent delivery. Do you need any help? I can understand your frustration. So now you have again two options. One is, oh yes, I had a very, very terrible week and these are the consequences. This is a complimentary transaction. And the other one can be, oh thanks, but you sound a bit too patronizing for my taste. So again, now you have a crossed interaction. There are other examples we can do using the child behavior, but uh, what I want to explain here is the concept of complementary transactions and cross transactions. So the complementary transactions are all the transactions that are defined stable. So any transaction that is parent-child or child-parent or adult-adult are considered stable. Co cross transactions instead are very unstable and, and most of the time extremely uncomfortable for people. So what generally happens in these transactions is that one of them tries to shift from uh, a cross transaction to a stable transaction by moving to a complementary state just to stabilize the conversation. So now we know that generally we tend to prefer stable transactions, that's why we have specific behavior with specific people that are always playing the same role. But let's see how we can change this, right? So this is something really important, especially when, when you have a manager that tries to act as a parent, it's always problematic. So the first thing you should try to do is to move the conversation to another level. One thing I didn't mention is the adult, adult conversation, right? So our goal should be to move the conversation to an adult to adult conversation. How we can do that? Let's see again both the interactions where you had the judgmental parent or the nurturing parent. So the judgmental parent, you get, hey, this is unacceptable, you should pay more attention. Now, your response as an adult can be, I am booking a meeting to discuss a plan to avoid this in the future, right? So now, if you see th there are no emotions, there are no feelings in this conversation, you are just trying to shift the conversation from a different level. So there is no interaction between parent and child, but you're shifting from adult to adult. So now let's see again uh, the, the other interaction where you have a nurturing parent and your boss says, um, hey, I noticed few issues with your recent delivery. Do you need any help? I can understand your frustration. And you can provide the same response. You can say again, I'm booking a meeting to discuss a plan to avoid this in the future. So now, as you can see, you can use the same response in both situations to try to move the conversation to adult to adult, which is probably the most stable and the, the adequate conversation to adopt, especially in a work environment. So this is why we keep having the same conversation always with the same people. Hopefully now you have uh, enough knowledge to try to steer the conversation when you notice some of these patterns happening. And if you like this video, you may also like the, one of my latest videos where I talk about gratitude at work and how gratitude can help. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.